to another video, another vlog. It is the weekend and I kind of have a busy one just in terms of work stuff, editing that I need to do over the weekend. I also have a volleyball tournament tomorrow, which will be fun. That'll be like an all day thing. So today, Saturday will be like my day to just take care of all the things I need to around the house with YouTube and just my personal health, happiness, well-being. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym first for a light sesh and then go to yoga after. Um, I booked myself a hot yoga class at like 9.30, I think. So I should have time. I don't wanna do anything too crazy in the gym just because I am playing tomorrow. I don't wanna be too sore. But we're up in Adam before 7 a.m. on a Saturday. I love it. My clip is not sitting right now, so I'm just gonna take it out. But I forgot to do my Wordle this morning. Wordle, I'm actually surprised, is one of those games or like viral things that I'm still keeping up with. I know a little small circle of friends and I, we all still play. Let's play together because I have to do this before I get started with my day. Usually I'll pick a word that like is random but relevant to me at the time or like me that day. So I'll pick the word stain because I have a little stain on my crew neck. <laughs> oh, that's not really helpful. I feel like that's too standard of a word, but we'll just go with it. I really like actually feel so nervous <laughs> that I'm doing this with you guys. Blank E A. Oh, 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 <gasps> okay, okay. I just forget what words even are. Blank E A D Y, but I don't think that it ever ends in a Y. Like beady eyes. <gasps> let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, time to go. Completely empty. But y'all, I literally, tell me how I forgot to change my shoes before leaving my car. I'm wearing the Crocs in the gym, what the heck? They do be cute though. So I had a really, really quick workout today, like literally two supersets. I just wanted to get a little extra movement and weight training in before yoga, but also not too much because I didn't want to be too sore for my volleyball tournament. But yeah, I'm just warming up with this PVC pipe type thing. Usually I'll use my resistance band, but I just wanted to test this out and the stiffness makes it so much tougher. It really tests out my mobility. For about five minutes or so, I was flossing up my shoulders, opening up my hips, just waking up the entire body. Honestly, I didn't have much of a plan for this workout, so I just kind of did what I wanted, also I'm wearing Crocs, so by default, upper body. First superset, I started with 10 seated dumbbell presses. I'm not going too heavy with these, because, oh my gosh, one time I did a full on shoulder workout before a yoga class, and holy cannoli, I can hardly keep up my hands for mountain or chair pose. So, did 10, and then I supersetted that with, or I guess tri-setted those with bent over straight bar rows. I did 10 with a supinated grip, so palms facing up, and then 10 pronated with palms facing down. I completed five sets here. Next, I'm loading up this decline chest press machine. Playing on both sides, yeah. Did 10 to 12 reps here. I've never actually done decline chest presses, like with dumbbells, so this was new, and I did feel it a lot more in my lower pecs. I didn't want to crease the Crocs, so I'm taking them off before doing some push-ups. I did 10 push-ups and definitely had to drop to my knees in later sets, but yeah, four sets of that super set, that was pretty much it for me. I was in there for less than an hour, but time for my core power class. I took a body shower after hot yoga because I was really gross and sweaty, but I just changed again into a nice casual but like sporty outfits because I have errands to run. Um, I'm trying to pack my things before I head out of the house. I gotta go to the post office. I have to make some returns at the mall. And then I'm also meeting up with my boyfriend at the driving range. So we're gonna hit some balls. I'm so out of practice. But yeah, here's the fit. I'm wearing a long sleeve and then this really light jacket just in case it gets cold. I'm also bringing water and then some snacks because we'll probably be out there for a while. I wanted to quickly thank Chomps for partnering with me on this video. Look at these. I'm gonna throw these into my golf bag. These are quite literally the best snacks to just grab and go. If you don't know what Chomps are, they are grass-fed beef sticks. They come in so many different flavors. I think nine different flavors. I personally am a big fan of the jalapeno one just because it like the little kick and spice. But yeah, beef sticks specifically are very 
nostalgic snack. It just reminds me of my childhood because when we would take long road trips or if I was with my dad and we were at the park or at the rain, he would always be eating beef sticks. I grew up with the smell and the taste and I'm very fond of them. So Chomps just kind of takes me back in time. Depending on the flavor of each stick, these have nine to 10 grams of protein, 60 to 100 calories, zero grams of sugar. These are Whole30 approved, keto, certified paleo, gluten-free. Wait, I'm just realizing that this one says all stick without the ick during a break of like an active outdoorsy sort of activity it just hits it really does hikes long drives the driving range i'm bringing my chomps you can find a store that sells chomps near you by using the link in my description i also recommend trying the variety pack because then you get six of their best selling flavors for 14.99 great way to just kind of test the waters and taste them all oh mm, 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 mm. yep the jalapeno is definitely my fave. Nine grams of protein in this thing. Hell yeah. I'm gonna pack these with me to go. I need to get going. for 6 15 and oh my gosh i dreamt that i slept through the tournament or like i slept through a good half of the day it felt so real and i felt so ashamed of myself so disappointed like literally our first tournament of the year and but luckily it was just a dream and i woke up early taking my time getting ready we're good we're on schedule my brows look a little wonky this morning yeah just brows today sometimes i'll do mascara but i don't like to even worry about sweating it off or accidentally rubbing my eyes you know what it's fine it's fine i actually found these in the closet yesterday and these are the sweatpants that i usually will warm up in just because they're so flimsy easy to take on and off pretty sure these were our teen pants in high school i miss these pants I was scrummaging through my closet because I could not find my jerseys for this team, which is fine for now because we're just wearing t-shirts today, but we have our nationals tournament in like two months in September, so those jerseys better show up by then. Ooh, wow, whoa. Oh, I'll this. Oh, yeah. All right, we made it. I got here early because I wanted to snag parking. I made coffee for myself at home. Oh, that's not okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna hide in my car till it's time to go in. Cheers. Oh, hello. Magnificent.
holy crap i slept like a rock last night i was able to get a bit of footage off of my gopro and looking at the footage today 90 percent of it is out of focus and <laughs> camera's super far it's also very low to the ground so definitely have to put it on a taller tripod but the tournament was a lot of fun playing competitively again and playing with my team um we did lose our last game so that cut our day a little bit short but got dinner with the team afterwards and as soon as i got home I showered knocked out it's now monday and i'm just editing oh my god wait why does it feel like this is gonna overheat so I'm still trying to figure out this thing. This is only my second time using it. The first time was in Utah when I took it skiing. GoPro does not even come with a charger. It comes with this wire that you can plug in. It's like a USB, whatever. And you can charge it through this, but it charges so slowly. Do not recommend. So I had to order this dual charger off of the GoPro website, which was like 50 bucks. But that came on Saturday, so I was like, oh, I can try and film my tournament. And then it turns out all my footage is blurry. But yeah, aside from that, I would say it's pretty good quality. It's cool that it has the screen on the front and the back. Yeah, it's just wild to think that we're on the GoPro 10 now. I have another GoPro, but it's literally like the GoPro 2 or 3 at most. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much a wrap on my weekend. So I think I'm gonna close out this vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Any weekend that includes any of the activities that I did this past weekend is Honestly, a great one in my book. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.